I'm Jerry Craig with Veterans for America First, and I'm proud to announce our new ambassador, Bundy Cobb, who is a resident of Georgia, who's going to work hand in hand with the Veterans for America First and Veterans for Trump movement as we move through the 2024 Trump election year. That's what I'm calling it, the Trump election year, because that's what we need to preserve our country. So Bundy is a, a war veteran. He served in Vietnam and the U.S. Army. And I believe he will bring a great perspective to our organization and uh, future service to promote the America First agenda. So, Bundy, I want you to tell our viewers a little bit about yourself and uh, a little bit about your service and your support for Donald Trump. I'm um, 68. Uh, I was actually a helicopter mechanic we in the first cab. Uh, we were supporting 100, uh, the 101st Airborne uh, during Tet. So it, we had we got a lot of action over there. At the Tet Offensive, you all outnumbered, so, not outnumbered 100 to 1 or something like that. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, it was kind of uh, rough. And, and those boys, it was so, – those 101st Airborne guys was doing a good job. They were putting up with a lot of uh, – a lot of damage. Uh, seen from them out there in that in that Tet offensive. Uh, it was a rough it was a rough time for all of us and during that time. So the, the Tet I'm just, I'm just glad I'm just I'm just thankful that I made it back because a lot of the guys didn't make it back and, and they sacrificed all and uh, uh you know I'm thankful to to make it back. Well one thing that I think that the vet, Vietnam combat veterans did not get is a welcome home. And they that you guys came home into a hostile political environment, similar to a hostile political environment, what we have now, but where the support of the, the military services was absolutely missing in the late 60s, early 70s. So I first want to state, I'm sure you've heard it before, but thank you for your service and welcome home. Because uh, there's so many thank veterans you. who never got to hear that. So um where do you live now in the state of Georgia and what region uh, are you located? Uh, well, we, we, we've lived in, in Douglas County for a lot of years, but we're in process of moving to Harrelson County. Uh, so we're going to get back out in the, in the sticks like I was raised. I was raised on the farm out in the middle of nowhere. So I'm kind of uh, reverting back to that. At the old older age here. Well, it's kind of nothing, uh, simple living. There's nothing better than simple living and, and a simple <laughs> simple day, right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Well, well, Bundy, the the next thing that we uh, we talk about is this election and the 2024 presidential election. We've seen it in the the debates. We've seen it. We've got two total different candidates that are coming at it from one. Uh, I think uh, he's more suited for the nursing home than the White House. Um, and we've got a president that's got to unwind a lot of mess that he created, that President Biden created during his uh, four terms of tyranny, uh, four years of tyranny. Um, what do you see from your friends and family, the discussions about what issues are the most important from, from for this uh, election cycle? Oh, wow. You know, there's so much. <laughs> uh, there's so many mistakes been made during the Biden administration uh, that was, you know, it's been like dis destroying the United States uh, from within. Uh, but, you know, people are suffering here. Uh, you know, the inflation is, is out, of, out of control because of, uh, you know, his mishandling of uh, situations. Uh, and the incidents that we're, that's having overseas you know, in, in Israel, and uh, and that is because that's happening because of, of the weakness of our leader, Joe Biden. Uh, so we, we have got to get Trump back in there because he kept uh, the leaders of these other countries uh, like Putin and, and uh, uh, China, uh, China and and all. Oh, he real. kept them under control because they feared him, but Biden. It's like he's one of their brothers, and he's in there with them, so they're taking advantage of us. And if, if we don't stop that, we're, we're in trouble. So if, this is a probably one of the most crucial times 
in our country that we have to stand up and do what's right and, and correct the, the mistakes that, that Biden has made uh, to save this country. It, it's people. Some people don't realize how critical it is, but it's it's a do or die right now. It's what we've got on our hands. Well, Bundy, I appreciate you stepping up and being a voice of reason in your community, being a voice of reason in your church, your friends, your family, and now joining our family as an ambassador for Veterans America First. We welcome you to participate in anything that we're doing, and we're glad to have you join our forces and with a perspective that uh, only you can provide. So uh, thank you for doing that. We look forward to working for many, many good years as we go forward. Well, yeah, I appreciate what uh, the Veterans for America First do. I mean, it's a lot. Of, you've been doing a lot of work, and and I've I've noticed what's what's going on, and and it's a positive atmosphere, and it's 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 getting it's people and organizations getting out there and actually doing things instead of talking about it. Uh, right. The Veterans for America First is actually getting out there and getting something done, and that's what we've got to do. We've got to do not not sit back and think and wish. We got to get out there and actually do it to make right. this thing. You can hope yourself into a circle, but uh, if you don't have a plan of attack, you ain't gonna get much done. That's right, exactly. That's well, exactly. let's keep fighting through twenty twenty four, and uh, once we get President Trump in office, we have more work to do because this work is never ending. Because evil won't stop, and we're willing to fight back. <laughs>